So everybody is settling in nicely. Lesby is probably the most wound up still. He still feels the need to follow Autumn around to rumble her. Annie's doing really good. She's super happy. Seems like her usual self comes running over to say hi to me and seems very cheery. Autumn doesn't seem to be very bossy with her, which is great. Just little pushes if she needs her to move, which is nice. There was a couple of nicks on Annie's bum from introductions, but I haven't seen anything on her since, which is very positive. So it'll just be probably a couple more days for Buzz to kind of cool down. It is a lot of stress for him because Autumn in the beginning of intros, which I didn't have filmed, uh, Autumn was very defensive to him and had knocked him over and was quite snappy with him. So I think he's probably just going to be spending a bunch of days really reinforcing that he is the boss. And he looks so tiny compared to her, which is just crazy. He's just a wee little man. But I'm really happy. So happy that everybody has a friend. I'm happy that they all have a really nice large cage to enjoy. Autumn has the biggest cage she's had before, and I think she's really enjoying it because I see her go all around. It's nice that Buzz has a friend who's closer to his age because Annie is a senior. She's going to be five this year, and Buzz is just turning one next month, and Autumn right now is about two and a half. So I'm really glad that he's going to have somebody a bit younger. And it's just nice that Autumn has friends again, that Annie has a distraction from her sister gone. So their cage is a little messy with stuff around, but uh, the only other thing I've changed is just this morning I added two cuddle cups back there. That seems to be where Autumn likes to sleep, back in that corner. So I've tried putting some cuddle cups there. Oops. Sorry, Autumn. I must have startled her. Oh, she's eating her radicchio in the corner now. So it wasn't too bad for an intro. I mean, the start was actually very intense. But as soon as I saw, like, the smallest glimmer that Autumn was starting to listen to Busby, then I started thinking, like, okay, this could really work. And to be truthful, that was the second time I tried them. I tried them one night... But it only let it go on for about five minutes because Autumn was just so defensive, like scaring me defensive. Like she was just in their faces within half a second of putting them all together. It was too intense. So the next time when I did it, uh, she was a little, she was defensive again, but it de-escalated a little quicker so that I could tell that things were going in the right direction. And it's never fun when you have to see them up in each other's face. Because, like, when she went after Buzz and knocked him down, I was just like, oh, dear, is this not going to go well? But after that, luckily, things went better. So you can see that he's he's not good with leaving her alone yet. Usually in the cage, like, if she gets up from a nap and, like, goes to walk around to the other side of the cage, he has to follow which I remember he did that a lot with the sisters. They could not go do their own thing for almost a week without him having to see what they were up to. So soon enough, he'll leave her be. And I was able to put beds in the night of the intro. I just waited till just before I went to bed and set the little bed you'll see where Annie's at in. And luckily it didn't cause any fuss because they're open-ended so you can run in and out either end. So overall, everything has been very smooth and I'm very lucky. And I just love that I only have two cages now and that they're both huge cages. So the herd, it really feels like a larger cage. I added this two by three section because that's where Autumn was. So the herd has more space, which is really good because little baby pig loves to run and zoom around. And not that she doesn't get along with Ray, but they're the ones that clash the most, so it's nice that they've got more space. Yeah, so it's super nice 
to have more space. So the herd's cage is uh, 3 by 12 and these guys are the 3 by 9. Maybe almost like a 3 by 9 and a half. Well, apparently now everybody's eating their veggies in the back. So there's nothing to see. So it's just early morning, so I'm going to get the curtains open soon. The sun will be shining. I love this time of year for the sun to be shining and having the curtains open and it being extra bright in here. So I'll be getting to that. Isn't he just the cutest little man? Oh, is Autumn going to come back up? Oh, and he just sprayed pee at her. Oopsies. Hi, Autumn. Are you coming to get some foods? What are you doing? Here we go. Autumn is a large pig. A lot bigger than the other two. She probably has about 300 grams on them. And she's so fluffy. She looks so pretty against this fleece. I'm very happy for her. friends and lots more space. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!